Alright, this is the how to installation video on the EBC Model R front fender relocation kit. So the first thing you need to do is remove your front fender from the bike. Okay, and it's gonna be connected up in up in that big hole up there. Oops, like right in here. Okay, and in order to remove that, uh, there's this thing that will be in place like this up in the hole. You just need to get an Allen wrench in there, unscrew it, and everything will pop out. After you do that, you'll take apart all the hardware that's attached to the fenders. Okay, you won't need these. But what you will need is all the the nuts that come out from the kit or from the uh, factory so you'll keep all four of those okay the screws that came from the factory you can move those aside you won't need those and then you will need my kit which comes with five screws they're all the same length all the same size so you don't have to get anything confused there and uh, this adapter piece okay so the first thing you're going to do once you have everything apart, um, is install the rear fender, the rear part of the front fender, to the to the to the bracket. So I've already done it on mine. Um, uh, so so I'll show you guys here on this real quick how to do that. Uh, this has like a long piece and a short piece. The short piece is going to go towards the back of the bike. Okay, so. Go ahead and take one of the one of the screws, okay, that it, that I give you, and go ahead and put it through this through this hole right here, like this. Okay, so that's all set. And then you're gonna take your your fender, and mine is red because I made it red because I wanted to match my bike. I'm obsessed with red, so. But the kit you'll get was will will be black. Um, and I also have a different screw here because, well, long story short, I cross threaded mine and screwed it up <laughs> while I was inventing this. But anyways, so I had to. Tap, drill and tap and make a bigger hole but go ahead and bolt the back piece of the fender to the short to the short piece okay of the kit of the adapter i send you all right and you'll just put the two screws through these uh through these holes right here okay and then you'll need to get some, um number three allen wrench and just you know tighten the screws from one side and and the the nut from the back side uh and when you put it in Okay, grab this and, and slide it all the way back before you tighten it, okay? So you want this as far back as possible. Okay. That's the first part. Next part is actually installing this. So, best way I've found without having to take off your tire. You can take off your tire and make this a lot easier, but some people don't have a, a bike rack, so... You'll come in and just line up that screw with that, with that hole that's there, okay? And you'll get uh, your Allen wrench, Allen key, whatever you're using, okay? Uh, mine's a screwdriver, just because, like, like I said, I have a different screw than all of you are going to get. And you're just going to screw that in place. So I'm just going to do that right now. Okay. Get it nice and tight. Not too tight. Remember this uh, this thing is magnesium, so it will strip and you could damage it. So, but that's tight enough and that's good, right? And you'll see the fender can move. It's I highly doubt it's ever going to touch the tire when when it's bouncing around. I mean, you got to put a lot of pressure on it, and if it does, it's just going to spring right back. But now you got to do the front part, and the front part is is really a lot of fun. I'm being facetious. Um, but this is the tough part. If you still have the, if you don't have the tire on, and this is on a bike rack, this is easy. But uh, since I have my tire on, I'm just gonna do it this way. You put your two screws that I give you. Remember, these are longer than the factory ones, and they're gonna go through the two holes up here, okay? Like this, great. And now you've got to get this nut underneath while you tighten the top screws. So best way I found is either you get a wrench to hold this in place. All right. Or you can try to use your hands. Depends how much patience you have <laughs> to do all this. Uh, I found the wrench works really well. I left my wrench inside. I don't want to stop the video, so I'm going to try to do my use my hands right now. But nope, I got to get my wrench. Go right back.
I'll try to edit that later. All right, but if I don't, oh well. Okay, eight millimeter wrench is what I use You'll, to hold this in place like this. And then I get it just aligned just right. And it takes a couple tr tries here. Quite a few tries, to be honest. Just get this right over that screw. And then you come up from the top. And you screw it in place. And I got one down. And then I'll do the front one too with, a, with the bolts as well. And then I'll come through here and I'll just tighten everything up a little bit. Don't, don't over tighten. You know, just light, tight, light torque here. All right. And that's it. Now the fender isn't sitting up in space anymore. I mean, this is good for people who don't really take their bike off-roading a lot, right? I mean, I don't. I mostly just ride in the street. You know, I, I sometimes, you know, go off into the grass or a little bit of gravel here and there, but I'm not really a big off-roader. You probably aren't if you got this bike. It's, you know, it's not really meant for crazy off-roading, but yeah, looks better. Looks gives it more that beach cruiser look that I'm kind of always looking for with this bike and uh, yeah, let me know if you have any questions or if you have any problems installing it. Thanks for looking everybody. Have a good one.